Well, everybody, it's John again out here on a very windy day. We've had about six days of consecutive rain, uh, the last three days a lot of it, and then we had a wind advisory over the past 24 hours. There's still really high wind, so I'm staying out of the woods. Today we're just going to do a couple projects here. I was dropping off some things here at the farm. Uh, so I'm going to check out and see how the minnows are doing. I'm going to bait my minnow trap. Uh, the way I'm going to bait that is with dog food. That works well. Then I'm going to work on grafting uh, an Asian pear that has kind of died back. It's not doing well. I have two of them doing great. I'm just going to take a snip off of one of them that's doing great, graft it onto the other one, and that'll give me two different varieties that I have out here anyway. Uh, so I'll get that going. And so basically those two things. I may wrap it up with just a little bit of fishing. So we'll see if anything's biting at the pond. Everything's extremely soggy. I bought my minnow trap off of Amazon. I can post a link below. I forget what it was, 12 or 13 bucks, not a lot. I'm just gonna bait this with some dog food. And again, this is just a population survey. So we got it kind of baited there. I'll throw it out next to those reeds because those cattails because that's most likely where something's going to be living. That's down about three and a half feet. We'll let that soak for a little bit. Uh, we'll go graft this tree. After I'm done with the grafting, I'll do a little fishing. At the end of that, we'll see how the minnow population is at this property. Last time I did this, we had some baby bluegills and some fatheads. And if you saw the video a few a couple weeks ago, I threw about a thousand fathead minnows. So we'll get up here. We'll see if we can get some grafting done. So this tree is doing really good. It's actually starting to break bud and getting ready to bloom. We're gonna take a snippet of this tree and we're gonna move it to this other tree, which is not doing so well. So this is the old graft union, and it's dead. And from below it, we've got two sprouts from the rootstock. Now my understanding is any pear really can, you can graft, even if you had an Asian pear here, you could graft some other pear on it if you wanted. So here I, I've cut in a, a little scion wood piece. that you can see. It's getting ready to leaf out. I don't know if this is too late, but this is what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna zoom you back in on this and I'm gonna work this just like I was sitting at home doing a bench graft. Try to find a section that's about the exact same. See that cut? Even on both sides. Now I'm gonna make the other side on the grafted tree, the, the rootstock, match that. Now, if, we'll put that down in there. A little harder to control when you can't control the bottom as much as you want. Pull it, it's a lot like plastic wrap. Get a little tension on it. There's that. Now we'll take a rubber band and that'll help support it. 
And there's no guarantees this is going to work. This is just me messing around. This is putting a fair amount of tension on here. Trying to keep this supported and then this rubber will just fall apart over time. So that's the final graft. Field grafting, pear trees, rookie style. <laughs> Sounds like the geese are coming. Coming in. So cool. Just one goose. The good tree, one of the good ones. The good Asian pear tree, you can see it's getting ready to blossom. That'll be its first blossom since I planted it, but it's nicely branched. It's a taller tree, it's about five and a half foot tall. All right, well, we got it grafted. We'll put the fence back around this little tiny graph that we did here and see how it all works out the old goose is standing on the tree that fell down and he's yelling at me he or she well <clears throat> old goose ain't gonna like it because I'm gonna go down here and go fishing then we'll check our minnow trap we'll head back home spend Saturday hanging out with the family Sorry, Goosey. Now you just flew in. I don't know if the other one's sitting on a nest somewhere. Because there's been two of them. Nothing was hissing at me. I didn't go around the backside. There's not a lot of hiding spots on the, on the pond. Here's what we're going to use. A little tube jig, no bait, no, no live bait and see if what we can get to chew. I'll do a better cast than that, not much weight on here. All right, plan B is a red and white daredevil, little imp. I love how this log fell, this tree fell in perfect. I haven't even seen a follow, and perch usually love following this. Oop, went to the wrong side of the tree. We have now gone with a black and white rooster tail. That's what I have. And it's an eighth ounce, so it may be still too light to cast. Maybe I'll bird nest up off this thing. If I do, then it's going to be the bobber. I had a follow from over here earlier. Oh, I bird nested. Dag gum it. I got a little worm. We're gonna try him out. Tube jig, two and a half foot underneath a bobber. And let's see what the bobber does. Oh, got a bite. Got a fish. Oh yeah. That was what the ticket is. Nice little perch, nice healthy looking perch, beautiful perch. What do you guys think? Got some fillets, but he can grow a little bit. Got a fish, nice bluegill. See that pale looking bluegill. Looks like it's getting full of eggs though. See that? 
need some color in these things. Got to get some grass in there for them to swim with. Fat. I'm going to wrap it up, get out of here. Last thing we got to do, check, see how our minnows are doing, see if we got any minnows. Let's see what we got here, okay? Your goose. Still checking out if I'm here, I guess. So, today we got exactly nothing. No minnows. That soaked over almost an hour. Uh, we'll do that once the water warms up. It's pretty shallow there. If uh, no minnows the next time, when the water's warmer, definitely we got a food problem. Here come the geese. Let's see if they come in. They're talking. Do you see them? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. They see me. I'm going to leave them alone. We'll try to get out of here and let them stay. Thanks for watching, everybody.